process of learning page of it model, we have reached to the second test case that is to automate the login page. So as usual, we are going to see first what we are going to do and we'll do that manually and then we'll write our script. So if I go back to my sheet here, we can see that this is my login test case. We have three test cases for this. So load the URL and click on the login button from the home page. So we have already loaded the URL and click on the login. This is a um, login page. And then we have to enter a valid email. So that is going to be this email. So I'm just going to copy and here also I'm just going to copy paste. And then we'll click on the login. So once we click on the login, it's going to welcome me as a uh, welcome Kaushik. And after that, it is going to take five seconds, I believe, to get disappeared. Once that has been disappeared, we'll just click on the sign out button. Why? Because first we have to continue with the next test case where we have to do like enter valid email, enter invalid password, and then we have to click on the login. And this guy should give me some appropriate message. And similarly, the vice versa, we have to give invalid email and we have to give the valid password. Yeah, don't judge me. I know you can write a better test case than me, but just to make it simple demo, I have done this. And of course, the error message is this, uh, it's going to be this. So we'll just write that here, right? So let's see how to do that. So first, we'll just click on the sign out. And I believe we already have the pages. And on the pages, I think we have the function to enter email, enter password, and also to click on the sign button. That's going to actually log in button, but uh, we have just make this as a sign in. So nothing wrong about it. So both are technically same. And apart from that, also we want the common where we have this guy called valid toast. So we are just going to expect that my name should be there in the welcome message. I mean, in the toast message, welcome plus Kaushik should be there. And that's it. So already we have all the uh, elements and I think we can write the test case. So just let me delete this existing file uh, that I just did now. So I'm just going to make a copy of this file and I'm going to change the name to signin.spec.js. So signin.spec.js. And other than this, I think everything we don't need. So I'm just going to select all these guys and I'm going to delete this. And here, instead of sign up, we have to click on the login button, right? So click login. And here we are just uh, doing this maximize window, setting the impl implicit wait time. And after that, we are just loading our URL and we are clicking on the login. So this is before each, before e each and every it block, it is going to execute. And this guy is like one time execution for your entire described block. Now, of course, we don't want the sign up guy. Instead of this, we want the sign in. So we are going to import that. So const then sign in and equal to new followed by sign in. So sign in. Okay, so we just do like this and we can change this probably. I think let's go back to the sign up page and we can copy this guy and we can just take this. Okay. Now, of course, we have to import, so just give control space and that will give you the auto suggestion to import. And we don't want the sign up page import, so we'll just delete this and that's it. We are pretty much done. So now let's see how to write this. So I'm just going to copy each and every test cases belongs to the login page. I'll just simply copy and paste over here. Now, of course, we can use the VS Code syntax, I mean, shortcuts to write the spec. So I'm just going to use Alt plus click before this TC some numbering. And I'm just going to type it then followed by the bracket and it should be within the string and then click on the end button and again click on this double quotes and comma and of course we are going to use the async so async and then anonymous function right that's it so of course we have to close the bracket right that's it so pretty easy we can just copy and we can make use of this vs code extensively to do some um some time saver basically right so here i'm just going to uh, already we have this load and login. So enter email, valid email, enter valid password and click on the login button, correct? So here I can say sign in.
And as I said, like when once we do the sign in, for example, if I say like Kaushik at uh, letco dot in and pass one two three four, and once we click on the login, we are going to verif verify this guy. Okay, something wrong. So let's me just give the password again. And if I click on this login here, you can see that we are able to get this welcome Kaushik, and it is going to stay for is for five or six seconds maybe. And after that only we can do the sign up. Correct. So if else if I don't handle the wait time for this toast message probably it will give us like element click intercepted so that's the reason we are just going to add some uh, sleep over here so before adding the sleep we will just verify so a very common dot validate toast and here it should be welcome and my first name that is going to be Kaushik and of course, we will wait until that is appear. Uh, we can write the expected conditions and we will learn that and then we will just implement maybe in some another video. Today, we will just use the browser.sleep and I think that should solve our problem. So, I am just going to have a 5 seconds and then I will say like await dot header dot sign up. Click sign up. So, that is the function in here, right? And of course, we have to validate whether we are able to sign signed it, we are able to log in uh, correctly or not. Of course, we can validate the toast message. Apart from that, also, if you remember, we have written this function, right? So sign out is displayed. So once we do the sign in, sign in, we can see that we have this button, right? So we can validate that as well. So I'm just going to quickly write that here. So maybe after the sleep, we'll just say await, then followed by header dot this function so sign out is display right that's it pretty cool so of course it's going to run but we'll run this all the test cases together just to save your time and here also we have to do the verify for the login fails and here it's going to be very easy the same step that we already covered in the before each and then we have to enter valid email and invalid password right so here i can say await and then followed by sign in dot enter email and here we will say this guy so i'm just going to copy this and here we'll pass it and after that we are going to enter invalid password correct so here await then sign in then enter password and here we'll pass some value like just a dummy value My, that means we are passing some wrong value and then we are trying to do the sign in. So await dot sign in dot click sign in. And of course, it should fail. And we are going to validate that using this um, text. All right. So let me just copy this. And here you say like await, then common dot toast, validate toast. And within this, I'm going to pass this particular text. Similarly, we have to give the invalid email and then we have to give the valid password. So I'm just going to copy this entire thing here and paste over here. And here I'll just give the correct password that is going to be pass1234 and the email is going to be wrong. And after that, the error message should be uh, changed. So here we are going to give this error message. So let me just remove this. Okay, that's it. I think that that was very quick, but of course we know that we have discussed all about this in the sign up page as well. So if you are seeing this, I mean all the playlists together, I think definitely we'll get this what we're trying to achieve here. So let us try to run this now and hopefully it should run in the very first time itself. So here we can see that we are able to get this welcome house check and after that it is going to click on the sign up and then the another error message and after that another error message and it says that there is no user record corresponding i think that should be failed because we are expecting some another message and of course we got this as failure so actually both the cases we got the failure because this is the actual error message but we got something else so here if you see here we are just adding some um, value like if i give this correct password so let's go dot in 
and then if I click on this pass with wrong value so here you can see that it is actually coming with the dot right so here it's coming with the dot but we didn't provide the dot here so that is the reason here it got failed and it says that expected is with the dot and we have passed this without dot so this is manual um, I mean we made it mistakes I mean I made it mistakes so that's the reason it got failed and here it got failed because suppose we have given the email ID which is not there so here it says that email address is badly formatted but the actual thing we got here is this value right so I am just going to copy this and probably I didn't write it properly in the error message I believe in my excel sheet so nothing wrong about it we'll just change here and we'll add a dot here and then again we'll just try to run this so control C and uh, control L to clear and again we'll, we are going to run this I hope you got this error message thing uh, I did the mistake that is the reason my test script failed here hopefully this time it should pass for sure Okay, so good we are good I believe and of course we can see three dots that means of course we are I mean our script got passed here right so that's it so this is pretty cool and pretty easy and few things we have to remember is of course we cannot hard code this error message or the user credential or maybe any set of data within the script itself um, we can but that's not preferred one so um, probably in the next video we'll also learn how to get the data from the external file like json or maybe excel and we'll just pass this data here i hope you have enjoyed the video and if you have any queries please do let me know in the comments so that i can give you a better clarification on this i believe you got it if else uh, just do let me know i'll be happy to make maybe some another test case and give you a better demo thanks for watching see you in the next one very soon